Okay, so we're live. Yeah. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, you? What's your name and where are you coming from? Uh, my name is Mohammed Abu Shakra. I'm the uh, coordinator, the national coordinator of DAIS in Egypt. I'm from Egypt, of course. Okay, thank you for welcoming <laughs> us here. You're <laughs> so tell me, what is social entrepreneurship for you? What does it mean for you and for the youth in Egypt? Actually, social entrepreneurship, starting from the term entrepreneurship itself, it started as the engaging uh, civil powers into the economic process to get an output. But that all was for the sake of, uh, of profit. But social entrepreneurship is something different. It is getting profit while benefiting the society. That's why it is so social. Um, it is linking entrepreneurship and business to the needs and the, the want of the, of the community. Um, so it is more socially oriented than being profit oriented. But what are the advantages of the social entrepreneurship for the young people in Egypt and also worldwide? Okay, um, first of all, social entrepreneurship is basically built on innovation. So having innovation in mind for young people is so beneficiary. This is first. Second, it is um, a gate for uh, employment because if there is no governmental employment and if even the market now it doesn't support more job opportunities for young people, so social entrepreneurship is the only exit and the only answer of questions for where to get your job. Are you an entrepreneur? Um, I'm an entrepreneurial uh, promoter more than being an entrepreneur myself. But definitely you are, through your work, a social entrepreneur. Of course. I, um, what are the advantages for yourself and for your family as a young man being an yeah. entrepreneur? Uh, well, as, well, first of all, it is very inspiring because you, th you start by hope and you end by result. So it is really, really inspiring and it can help you share your ideas and stories to, with everyone. Uh, this is first. Second, uh, I'm now employed. And I, I can help other people to get employed. So it is, it is more friendly and it is more uniting uh, the social units, like starting from the family, um, mates in work, and everywhere. Um, and even uh, the network of YES, which is um, hundreds of uh, Egyptian volunteers uh, who are dedicated only to cover the gap between their formal education and the job market needs, and to start businesses that's really valuable to society. You are the YES leader of Egypt. Yes. What are the values that a leader nowadays should have in order to get to those results that you told me that you want to achieve? Ah, okay. First of all, the values generally could vary from generally from values of an Egyptian. Please be yes specific unit. to you. Ah. What are the what, what are your <laughs> values okay. as a leader? Well, after the revolution, it's sharing before deciding. Uh, this is the first value that I, I, really, I really get uh, of the, 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 re the revolution. Um, second, that uh, recognizing myself means recognizing the other. Uh, third, that there is no ceilings anymore. N nobody before 25 of January uh, dreamed or even uh, thought that that kind of massive change would take place. At, but it is taking place now. So Tell there is no ceilings. Tell me three needs, concrete needs, that uh, young entrepreneurs in Egypt need right now. First, education. Okay. Different kinds of education, formal, non-formal, and informal education. Okay. This is first. Second, space for innovation. Those guys need to... I'm dreaming of Google, another Google from Egypt. Third, ethics. Innovation and education and ethics are really the, the most important three needs for an Egyptian young person now. If these needs were all fulfilled, yes. what would the world of Egypt look like? Ah, it will look very entrepreneurial. Uh, this is first, but it will look so free. I mean, I can imagine dialogue between young people uh, after those needs um, granted. Uh, you, you, first, it will be very innovative and the, the, the community will be full of inspiration and it will help communities around and it will, it will really, really uh, uh, achieve the, the purpose of the United Nations Charter to be a peace-loving state. 
Uh, peace doesn't only come from uh, the absence of war. It comes from the effectiveness of the, of the people inside their community. And entrepreneurship is one of the most um, important indicators of uh, uh, effective citizenship. Let me tell you something. Yes. When I first came here to Alexandria, uh -huh. I already found some of these values that you are telling me. Ah, but I'm sweet. dreaming to the day when I will come back to you, to Alexandria, to you as a YES leader, and see all the dreams fulfilled. You are invited. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you are so